，他们的爸爸会讲国语。不会，不是，不是做梦吗This reflection here, it's really annoying me. Never mind. Hi guys. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a hot minute since the last time I filmed. And, you know, I just wanted to sit down with you guys before I started this vlog. And, you know, let you know what happened. <laughs> I think last time I filmed it was in July 2022 and now we are in February since yesterday 2023 so it's been a long time and you know of course as you are well aware last time I filmed I was still living in Singapore and now I am living in Japan we moved to Japan in September uh, 2022 and yeah here I am. Uh, since then we've been living our best lives in, in Japan. Um, it's been wonderful. I have filmed, you know, bits and bobs uh, here and there. And I think um, as much as I wanted to, you know, make a few videos out of these shots uh, with very beautiful music and uh, very thoughtful voiceovers, that I had all written down and stuff. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna end up doing it in the end um, just because I don't know, I want to film the present um, I don't want to you know, stay in the past and like prevent uh, myself from filming the present and uh, you know just trying to finish over this this past content uh, before I I move on with 2023. If that makes any sense, you know. Um, yeah, I hope it makes sense. <laughs> so it doesn't mean that I won't show you, you know, the shots I film because some of these are actually pretty cool and you know they they're still memories to me and I still want to log them somewhere put them somewhere uh, for me to look back on uh, in the future so you will still see some of these shots uh, here and there. Having said that, um, what do I see as the future of my channel? Uh, I think in my head it's pretty clear now. I want my content to be simple, um, genuine, with the l least edit possible. Um, and yeah, raw content. Um, and this is coming not only from the fact that I, I really don't have time or don't want to spend time on editing a lot. Uh, you know, yes, there is that, but it's also because uh, I feel the need to show you the real life in Japan and how it is for me at least. And of course, everybody's experience is very different, but I also feel like. Uh, m most content creators uh, going to Japan or living in Japan talking about Japan um, idealize Japan a lot and um, you know as much as that's entertaining I actually don't really want to do the same I want to make genuine content I don't want to idealize things uh, show you only the good parts or, you know, try to make it uh, look flawless, perfect. 
I feel like I can still inspire you guys trying to um, make the best uh, out of your time and your life in general and learn languages so inspire you to do all of this but still by showing you raw content and I don't think I need to edit the hell out, out of my videos to inspire that in you guys and yeah that's what I'm gonna do uh, I hope you enjoy it so I think you can expect a few um, still a few sit down videos scripted videos because I think there are still some topics I want to cover uh, about specifically learning Japanese and learning languages in general um, but other than that I think I'm gonna focus on vlogs and, and yeah I hope you like it thank you for joining me again this year and thank you for sticking around even though I wasn't uploading for a while I really hope you're gonna enjoy the content from now on guys so we are uh, Thursday morning it is the 2nd of February and <clears throat> we are already first day right during the week actually apart from a lot of Japanese reading and <clears throat> keeping my streak on Duolingo Mandarin Chinese I haven't done much and so right now before I start working I will actually um, do two things so I think I will read a little bit of my new book here so what happened is that yesterday sorry you're a bit too low what happened is that yesterday I finished this book Subete no Shunkan ga Kimi Datta it was amazing actually uh, if you don't know, I actually do book reviews uh, for the, Jap the books I read in Japanese uh, on my Instagram. And so since I finished this one yesterday, I actually want to read this one um, from, I mean, for this week. I know we are, we are already first day, but for this week I'm going to try reading this one. It's, it's pretty quick. This, this is a um, manga style kind of uh, book so yeah I think it's pretty quick to read uh, Neko no Tekitin and this is by an author I just uh, recently discovered actually I need to remember how you say her name it's Tamako Tamagoyama so Tamagoyama Tamako right here and yeah, uh, I just want to read, I think, a little bit of that just to see uh, what's the tone and, and gouge how, how long it's going to take me to actually read it, uh, just to plan. And apart from that, I also want, oh my god, my glasses are so dirty again. I also want to take notes um, from the latest lessons I've been going through on Duolingo for Mandarin Chinese and yeah I hope it's not gonna take me too long and I'm gonna take you with me so cute it's literally like the kind of book I, I really really like um, it was like it's written for me I love it but now I need coffee so I'm gonna make it it's just like any story with a cat I'm happy to read it and I know I'm quite lucky because you know it's it's a thing in Japan, like cat lovers and stories about cats. Uh, it's really a thing in Japan, so I think I landed in the right country <laughs> to be a cat lover myself <laughs> and to enjoy uh, fictional stories with cats. <laughs> no, but this one is like, it's very, very simple. It's just a recipe 
book, but enhanced uh, with a cat in the story. And the main character just uh, is, is just living alone uh, in her apartment and one day there's a cat showing up at the door and he offers to live with her and also help her uh, do like simple recipes at home. It's just, it's just so cute. And then you also have the recipes at uh, the end of each chapter and I'm in love. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight We could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to I Chinese note-taking session done and now it's time to work a bit. See you later. I'm standing right here. I know that I told you we're over. I swear that I'm sober. Just listen, I miss you. And I know Happy Friday! Just came back from lunch. We went to an Indian restaurant for the first time. And we also went to pick up some groceries. Look at this. This is Kaki. I'm guessing coated in sugar. No idea how this one is gonna taste. I decided to do um, garlic shoyu, so garlic soy sauce. So we got a jar, mini jar to put the garlic and the soy sauce in. It will big garlic. <laughs> Can't wait to try that. And we were missing some glasses, so I I went to. I mean, we went to Daiso to pick up some glasses, very happy, not sponsored, of course. <laughs> I actually like the shape. Today is set to moon, so we got some beans as well, a good luck. And some chopsticks, because you never have too many chopsticks, and we always seem to lose our chopsticks. And then... We also got some boxes to organize some of our closets better. <sighs> I, it's the same as chop, chopsticks. You never have too many boxes to organize, in my opinion. But the most exciting thing of all is what I got in the mail. Let me show you. So basically, on Amazon, I'm sure you guys know, but you can actually pre-order books that are going to come out, right? Not yet published, but that are going to come out. And so I ordered this one and it came uh, today. So it's Ie ga suki na hito. It came today and I think it was published either uh, today or yesterday. Let me check. Okay, if I'm reading this right, if I'm reading this right, this is actually not published yet. <laughs> Excellent. It's supposed to be published on the 13th of February. 
Oh my gosh, you can't see here. This one here. 13th of February 2023. And we are the third. What the hell? <laughs> I'm so happy. So I get to, you know, I get to read it before everyone else, I guess. Look at these drawings. I'm already in love. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is like right up my alley. Definitely for me. Uh, I'm gonna try and finish this book as fast as possible. Mm, I'm so excited. Hi guys, good morning. So it's Saturday morning and actually I'm already at my desk. I have a coaching session at 8 in the morning and you know this is for someone sitting in the US so with the time difference. Good morning. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I wanna be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers. So, update, I got another coffee, here you go, and while I was listening to a TED talk on neuroscience, AI and the future of education, very interesting, I finished uh, working on my website. Alright, so here is my website, uh, mainly used for, you know, my coaching uh, services bookings, and so uh, this is what it looked like uh, before. Alright, and on the coaching plans page, this is what it looked like before. And so here is what it looks like now. The start is the same, but then I changed the picture here so that it's not Christmassy anymore. Same for this picture. I went for a nature theme um, just because, you know, that's the vibe I want to give um, my website and my aesthetic in general for, you know, my, my branding. 
for this business and at the moment if you're interested I have two places left for US time zone which would be your Friday evenings and no more availabilities unfortunately for Europe time zone and one more place for the Asia time zone so yeah if you're interested um, you know, you can find the links to all of this right below this video. I've been, remember why you have my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. Here's a dumb shot, I'll show you what you can do. Way my hands feel on your body, we were dancing in the dark. So actually since I got some studying done, I can log that in my study schedule. I'm not far within my schedule, but you know, I'm not far. I haven't done much and we're already Saturday but you know getting there so I am at uh, 421 okay actually the the next chapters I'm probably gonna do tomorrow and they're gonna be pretty quick chapters so that's why I have so many and they're all about uh, katakana words so yeah like this. So it's going to be pretty quick for me to go through these chapters, which is why I have so many. And today I focused on the two chapters that were a bit more uh, difficult. And I have finished Unit 2. I have started um, gathering the notes and I have started on unit three. All right, and I need to do a bit of Russian before the week ends. Okay. All right, so that's it for now. The way my lips feel on your body, the way we're moving in the dark, with every breath we take, you're falling. You are not looking for something steady, not ready for that. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. Here's your time to shine. Oh, show me what you can do. Make a move. The way my hands feel on your body, we were dancing in the dark. With every move, I make your falling. Down with coaching, guys. It's 7 p.m. and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I think three days since Thursday. Yeah, Thursday to Saturday. So a quick vlog which uh, I will edit probably tomorrow. And yeah, uh, thank you for sticking around with me. I will see you in my next video. Bye! The way my lips feel on your body.